so uh, let's uh, uh, verify our uh, two controllers and uh, you can do it in MATLAB uh, command window as well uh, and you can also simulate it in Simulink so let's uh, do it in Simulink so that you also become familiar with uh, Simulink uh, here is blank model so uh, to the transfer function of the system uh, can be implemented using different blocks here this block uh, zero pole block uh, is more convenient and uh, uh, let's edit it uh, there is uh, no finite zero so let's put zero over here poles uh, of the system uh, one pole is at minus one the second pole is at s equal to minus two third pole is at s equal to minus ten and gain is equal to one so uh, we have uh, this uh, system and uh, then uh, uh, gain uh, y s over here here is mistake so there should be no zero uh, uh, we put again over here so there which block can be utilized commonly used blocks so again and gain of uh, 164 uh, to achieve the desired transient characteristics and then unity feedback uh, here is the block uh, uh, difference uh, this one and reference uh, signal can be uh, step input uh, is the step input and can be provided with this block so step input and uh, then uh, the actual uh, compared with this one here should be difference so let's change it to minus sign minus apply so difference is applied to this system and then we have uh, unity feedback so the output can be plotted uh, on uh, a scope so let's uh, use uh, this scope over here uh, and the step response of the system uh, I simulate it for uh, 10 uh, seconds and see the response of the system so here is uh, the response uh, these uh, uh, discontinuities are due to a uh, larger step size taken by the MATLAB uh, so let's reduce the step size uh, for numerical simulation so that the curve becomes uh, smooth uh, here we can change the step size uh, model configuration parameters uh, here is a uh, variable step size uh, and uh, solver is automatically selected so uh, additional options uh, so here the tolerance let's reduce the tolerance minus uh, 5 so that the step size uh, uh, it will take smaller step size to make the curve more smooth uh, so here we have more smooth curve we can see that uh, there is a steady state error and uh, let's say we are satisfied with the transient characteristics that is we are happy with the overshoot uh, rise time setting time etc we want to reduce uh, this steady state error by a factor of 10 for that purpose uh, we use uh, uh, three different uh, controller uh, two different controllers and compare their performance so let's copy the same uh, figure so here we augment a controller uh, to the system and uh, uh, let's use uh, this block uh, I think uh, this will be again uh, useful this block uh, the uh, zeros uh, that we have selected for the first compensator there was zero at uh, minus zero point minus zero point one 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 and uh, the pole was at uh, uh, zero point zero one zero point zero one again uh, is approximately one so we have selected this uh, controller let's plot it on the same graph uh, so that uh, we can uh, see their uh, comparison uh, here uh, we have multiplexer uh, commonly used blocks uh, so 
multiplexer which will multiplex uh, do these two signals and plot it on the same graph so here and here so let's see their performance here uh, we have designed a compensator and we can see that uh, this uh, blue curve which is the response for the compensator system is transient characteristics are almost the same uh, there is some distortion however the steady state error uh, is reduced uh, that is reduced by a factor of uh, 10 uh, we can simulate it for larger times uh, that will be more obvious uh, for 20 sec uh, seconds you see that the steady state error is significantly reduced let's uh, now uh, try the second uh, compensator uh, second compensator uh, poles were placed at uh, uh, there was uh, zero was placed at 0 0.011 and uh, pole was at 0 0.001 so we have uh, this uh, second compensator let's see its performance again let's plot it on the same uh, graph so we increase the number of signals to 3 and here is the third signal so this is uh, the third uh, second compensator you see that this orange line which is the uh, response of a compensated system with the second compensator almost overlaps with the yellow curve which is the response of the actual system so transient characteristics the second compensator has less uh, distortion on the transient characteristics however the steady state error there is a long tail uh, it will finally approach to same value uh, but it will take more time so let's plot it for more time 100 uh, seconds uh, so you see that it is gradually uh, reaching to the same value as this blue curve which is the response of system with the first compensator however there is long tail in the response of the system so which uh, compensator in under two uh, you will uh, prefer that depends upon your preferences that is uh, whether you can afford uh, such uh, uh, long tail in the response or not or whether you can afford uh, uh, distortion in the transient characteristics or not